Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I put this butterfly layered decal on my beer can glass. To make this decal, I use TechWrap's new color changing vinyl. Up ahead, I'll talk a little bit more about this newly released adhesive vinyl that is now available on the TechWrap website. Here is how the vinyl decal looks once it is chilled. So if that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every Thursday. So let's get right into it. These are the new TechWrap color changing adhesive vinyls. These were sent to me by TechWrap. I was super excited to try these out. They are a little different from the other color changing vinyls that TechWrap offers on their website. These have a light hint of color to them, whereas their old ones were clear. These have a light pastel color before they are chilled. When chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit, they will change color. They will change back to its original look when temperature increases. I do have a discount code with TechWrap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. I'll go ahead and link the TechWrap website down below in the video description and I'll also add my discount code there. Really quick, I want to show you guys where I got my SVG cut file from for my vinyl decal. I did purchase it off Etsy. It was this one right here. It is for a 16 ounce beer can glass or Libby glass. The shop name is SVG Cafe. It was $1 and I bought it and I downloaded it to my computer. Now heading back to Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my decal. SVG did come pre-sized to fit my 16 ounce beer can glass. Even though it does come pre-sized, you always do want to measure your cup or do a test cut just to be sure you're not wasting any vinyl. This is a two-part layer decal, so it's going to cut out first the outline and then the butterfly cutout. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click make it and send it off to my Cricut. So here is the vinyl that I use for the butterfly outline. It is also from TechWrap. This is their textured metallic vinyl. They do offer it in different colors. I'll link it down below in the video description. Using my TechWrap cutting mat, I'm now going to load my vinyl onto my mat. You want to make sure that your mat here aligns with your mat on Cricut Design Space. That way your vinyl decal design will cut within your vinyl. And here is my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out my vinyl decal. You can use this type of vinyl on any type of cutting machine. I do have the cut setting on custom and I have it on textured metallic vinyl. I am now going to load my cutting mat with my color changing vinyl. Most tech wrap vinyl comes with a clear protective sheet on top of it to make sure that it doesn't get scratched before you use it. You do wanna make sure to remove that before cutting your decals. Once I have this cut out, I'm going to send it off to my Cricut to cut out this last part of my vinyl decal. So here are both parts of my vinyl decal already cut out. I am now going to remove the excess vinyl to weed that out. I'm going to be using my tech wrap weeding pen. I've tried many weeding tools in the past and nothing compares to this weeding pen. It does have a sharp stainless steel tip that allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. I'll link it down below in the video description. Using this pen, I'm going to just go in here in the corner and lift off a little piece. And then I'm going to just pull off slowly the rest of the excess vinyl. And then going in and removing those small intricate cuts. So 
So here are both parts of my vinyl decal already weeded out. I'm going to layer my butterflies one by one individually just because it is only a couple pieces that need to be layered. I'm using my tech wrap tweezers to pick up my butterfly cutouts. I'm putting it down where it should go and then using my finger I'm just pressing down to make sure it is secured. And I'm going to repeat this for the remaining butterfly outline cutouts. So here is my vinyl decal already layered and ready to be placed onto my cup. I'm going to take some tech wrap transfer tape and place it on top of my vinyl decal. Using my tech wrap squeegee, I'm going to press down on my transfer tape to make sure that my decal adheres on well. I am then going to remove the backing off my vinyl. So here is the cup that I'm going to be using. These are 16 ounce of beer can glass cups or Libby glass. I did purchase these on Amazon. I'll link them down below in the video description. TechRap also sells these. I'll link those down below as well. I am going in with an alcohol prep pad. I'm going to clean off my cup just to make sure that my vinyl decal has a good surface to adhere well to. I am going to use my tech wrap squeegee to lay my cup down on and I'm going to try to place this as centered as possible and using my finger I'm going to go in and press down first on each one of the butterflies and then I'm going to use my squeegee to also press down and make sure they adhere on well to the cup. And then I'm slowly going to remove the transfer tape. And here is how my cup looks with my vinyl decal already added on. And here is how my cup turned out. I really enjoyed using this new tech wrap color changing vinyl. I really like how this vinyl has that light hint of color before the vinyl is chilled. The camera doesn't really pick up the color well, but these are sort of a light pastel color before it does change colors. That is it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every Thursday. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. I do post on there daily, so make sure you give me a follow. And my DMs are always open for any questions that you might have. Thank you so much for watching.